Well, we're here looking at uh, prototype uh, electrolyzer uh, for hydrogen fuel cell. As you can see, it's bubbling away. This is made out of uh, just stuff that I got at Home Depot. This is a one and a half inch uh, coupling going down to a little coupling that you would normally get from a uh, store. Uh, this is from Home Depot, and this is like an under sink coupling thing. A stainless steel bolt and washers and stainless, uh, washers and stainless steel bolt in here. So I'll go ahead and take the power off. You can see it's not actually boiling it as the action goes away right away. Um, should also be noted that the coupling that's being used is not stainless steel. I'll go ahead and reattach here. We're going to reattach this. See instantaneously it comes up again. And uh, this goes along the principle of what we've seen other places. I uh, created this little unit for about six bucks. It does uh, produce um, hydrogen. Uh, it's kind of crazy, you know. It's just one of those things you see videos and you think, oh, yeah, 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 sure, this will work, right? And uh, so let's take the basic principles. And this thing's even leaking. It's not a totally efficient system. It's just literally thrown together in 30 minutes just to see if I could build something that would. Uh, emulate and replicate what I'd seen on the internet in plans and also in the movies. So there it is. It's kind of exciting because it means uh, you know you can scale this up and maybe do something serious with it. Right now this wouldn't uh, put that put out enough gas to do much more than to maybe I couldn't even get to fill a balloon because well one the system's leaky and two just not putting that much pressure out. But you can see it's really moving and uh, it's kind of a neat thing to see. Anyway, I hope you enjoy.